Rapper Takeoff's death has left many people heartbroken, especially his family and friends. This tragic incident has gravely struck his family, and they've remained silent since it happened. However, rapper Offset, Takeoff's cousin, recently made some media presence in the wake of his death. Keep watching this video to see Offset reacts to Takeoff's death. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Offset reacts to Takeoff's death. Since the tragic incident of Takeoff's death, rapper Offset is the only member of Takeoff's relatives to make a media presence. Although he did not particularly say anything about Takeoff, he made social media posts that made fans know that the family was very much in mourning. Rapper Offset changed his Instagram profile photo a day after Takeoff died. He replaced it with a picture of Takeoff smiling. While on his Twitter account, he changed his AVI and his header to pictures of the Migos. Despite leaving the Migos group a couple of months back, Offset's Twitter post gave fans hope that he and Quavo may put aside their differences and carry on the legacy of the Migos in honor of Takeoff. Offset was set to release his solo album on November 11th, 2022, but given the tragic events, it's unlikely that would happen. The entire family has remained private in these sad times. Neither Quavo, Cardi B, nor Saweetie has made any public statements since Takeoff passed away. Quavo's reaction to Takeoff's death Quavo, who is Takeoff's uncle, is yet to make any statement about the death of his nephew, with whom he had just kicked off a rap duo group. Although he's yet to speak, witnesses at the scene of the crime and the first responder to the tragic incident have since shared Quavo's initial reaction to the death of his nephew. According to reports, Quavo had been arguing about basketball with a group of guys at the bowling alley where they had a private party. However, Quavo seemed to have been riled up over the argument and decided to leave. In a viral video, he was heard saying, Let's go. I ain't doing like this before I hurt somebody, bro. He turned to leave. And just a few seconds after that, Takeoff, who had been standing by with a group of people while the argument was going on, was shot on the spot. People were running for their lives and didn't notice Takeoff was hit until his body dropped to the floor. Immediately after this happened, Quavo ran to help his nephew, who was lying in a pool of blood. He, alongside three other guys, tried to put Takeoff up and rush him to the hospital, but they couldn't get him up. Quavo stopped trying and he began yelling out for help, calling on anyone who would help. A woman was heard in the background of the viral video yelling, I'm a nurse. According to the woman who later sat for an interview with local news outlets, she heard a cry of agony immediately after the shooting stopped. So she grabbed her medical kit from the back of her car and rushed toward where the commotion was happening. She said during an interview, I was scared, but I had to go. I could not have lived with myself if I knew I had the equipment to save his life and I didn't. When she got there, she found Takeoff critically injured, and there was some blood gushing out of the back of his head, but she couldn't move him nor could she conduct CPR to attempt to resuscitate him. That would not be appropriate, especially with a gunshot wound, the nurse said. Would never do CPR because you would be circulating the blood, and the blood would come right out of the bullet hole. So the first thing to do is to put pressure on the wound. She claimed that it was too late to save takeoff at the time she got there, so she had to give Quavo the devastating news. However, she couldn't pronounce him dead because it wasn't under official circumstances as they weren't in a hospital and she wasn't a doctor. However, she knew he was deceased when she saw that his pupils were dilated. She was forced to tell Quavo that Takeoff had passed away, but she used the term deceased. The nurse further revealed that she never knew who Takeoff was, nor did she know the Migos. She only went to help because it was a human who needed help. Do you know who that is? And I'm like, who? No clue. He was a human being. According to her, when she heard the screams, she thought it was the person who had been physically hurt that was screaming. All the while, the person screaming their lungs out and shouting was none other than Quavo, who was emotionally broken at the time. She realized they weren't screaming from physical pain, but from emotional agony. After I told him, he said, no, no, and I started crying, she recalled. And he grabbed me and said, please, please, and I started bawling. Takeoff's funeral. Almost two weeks after rapper Takeoff was shot and killed in Houston, Texas, his family announced that his funeral would be held on Friday, November 11th at 12 p.m. at the State Farm Arena in Atlanta, and free tickets will be available to Georgia residents. Although people from the public will be allowed to attend the funeral, 
They must, however, abide by the strict no photo or video policy. The Takeoff's family also encouraged mourners and supporters to donate to the Rocket Foundation, a nonprofit working to prevent gun violence. Pastor Jesse Kearney III was Takeoff's pastor when he was a child, has been confirmed to be one of the speakers as he will give the eulogy at the service. When speaking about Takeoff, he said, I plan to remember him as the young man I saw grow up in the church, who loved being with his family, who loved coming to worship, and in times when he made it to church with his busy schedule, he still came as just a regular worshiper, Kearney said. He was one who showed love to his fans while he was in church after church. Everyone allowed him to worship and just be a regular person. While there is currently no official guest list, Drake announced on Instagram stories that his Apollo Theater performance has been rescheduled for him to be able to attend the funeral. He wrote, The Apollo show has been moved to allow us to pay respect to our dear friend this weekend. We have added a second day for the fans. It was also announced that pop star Justin Bieber would be performing at Takeoff's funeral. He was featured in one of the Migos tracks, What You See, in 2021, and Looking For You. Rappers react to Takeoff's death. Many rappers have shared their condolences with Takeoff's family since the tragedy happened. Rapper Swizz Beats, who recently worked with Quavo and Takeoff on their new projects as Unk and Few, wrote via Instagram, a super lost to the culture today, super cool and talented brother, gone way before his time, condolences to the entire family. Hashtag RIP Takeoff, hate writing these posts. Legendary rapper T.I. said, My heart hurts so much for the family and the entire team behind this tragic loss of a true legend. I'm usually the one with the perfect way to articulate thoughts, but this has me baffled. Lil Bro was a real solid, respectful, honest, quiet, polite kid who conducted himself like a man of respect and stayed out the way. Rapper 21 Savage, who just released a joint album with Drake, shared a picture of himself and the Migos via his Instagram. He wrote in the caption, it always be the ones who really don't deserve it. Rappers weren't the only ones paying tributes to Takeoff. In fact, his fans did something the media has considered generous. On November 7th, the Grand Theft Auto Online community came together to honor Takeoff with a procession, a service, and an after party. An invite for the event reads, Tonight, we laid Takeoff to rest. All fans are welcome at all three locations. All white at the church. All black at the house party. Do you think Takeoff was an underrated Migos rapper? And will Quavo and Offset reunite the Migos? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.